Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. One idea that many targeted individuals don't think about enough is believability. I'm the son of two doctors. My father's a brain surgeon, humanitarian, and my life work is actually greater than his. And it's something that everyone would agree is greater than his. For example, if someone is the top martial artist ever possible, is he greater than a humanitarian and brain surgeon who's won a lot of top doctor awards? Yes, because martial arts are lifestyles, okay? Being a doctor, in a sense, is a lifestyle, but it doesn't go that deep, and neither does being a humanitarian, okay? He's probably the second most respectable person on the planet because he's my father. He's the second most respectable person in American history and perhaps even uh, human history, okay? I, I go as far as say he is. Now, when we look at the opposition view, who everyone knows is sabotaging people, the Havana Syndrome, the history of psychological operations, the history of clan harassment, the history of political harassment, gang harassment, workplace bullying, I mean, people simply are not going to believe them when it comes to my story. They're not going to believe them because I've proven my point beyond any doubt. I have 23 to 24 witnesses, etc. You know, they'll suppress my videos, but all victories are in principle. Even if all my videos come down the moment I die, and make no mistake, the evidence suggests that they're on the verge of actually causing my death in the next couple weeks or so, couple months. It's hard to say when. They've been fuming me heavily. They've been pressing the line on me heavily. They've been resorting to drastic measures. There's a conflict in Israel. There's certain military conflicts that they try to use to justify these things. Um, but behind the scenes, you know, everyone's like a lunatic anyway, right? Behind the scenes looks like the who's who of, you know, organized government crime. But they still have some kind of superficial justification. I don't think that that's that important to address, but it's important to bring it up that that's part of their mentality. They disassociate from reality. They pretend like they got to do it to feed their family or for the country or whatever. They pretend certain things are more important than being righteous. I don't. I'm actually putting righteousness first. And I'm fully prepared to die at any moment for what I believe, for what is right, for what is morally precise. They're not. That makes me far more respectable than everyone else. And then look at their cultures. You people neglect to point out that their cultures give away that they're not believable. Trolls, rockers, goths, emos, random fixated internet lunatics, racist homosexuals, people that fixate on people and then they say, you know, they comment them and troll them. They're not believable. I urge you to consider that if gang stalking is ever exposed and stopped, which is fairly doubtful, but not out of the realm of possibility, okay, it will only be on their timeline and because it's not that important in terms of them controlling people, in terms of their mechanisms of control. They have AI, they have substances and fumes that people don't notice a lot of the time, they control their thinking and who they date, etc. It's not a necessary program. And they love psychological moments, you know, moments where people go, yay, we won, yay, okay, where I have a divine moment of martial art victory. If you don't rally to me, you're just wasting your lives because I've established my right to lead in righteousness and wisdom and provable life acts and proven definitively that I'm reliable and that I'm not controlled opposition. I'm the real deal definitively. No one else can say the things that I'm saying and be right and be the actual universal leader of all humanity and the last valid leader ever possible. If people were sane, they wouldn't take anyone else even seriously as a candidate, even for president or governor or mayor or the head of a company because they were tail tucked like their forefathers when it mattered most. No offense anyone, but these are the facts. So look at the pictures on the screen carefully and ask yourself, what the fuck controls and corporate psychopaths and narcissists and people who try to look good who are allowed to look more presentable than other people? I wonder why that is, hmm. What can they possibly say? They were playing a game while I'm manning up. And why I was manning up, I am manning up, and all the way till my flesh dies, I will be manning up. They were playing a game and not being men, 
They are not being men, and all the way till their flesh dies, they will not have been a man for a moment in their life. What can they say? What can the Pee Wee Hermans of the world say? The Epsteins, the Weinsteins, the Prince Charles, the King Charles, the Prince Williams. What can they say? The IDF and the Hamas of the world. What can they say? What can the populars, the emos, the goths, the jocks, who are described as dumb jocks, what can the nerds say, who are described as foolish and contemptible, what the fuck can they say? The Democrats, the Republicans, literally the libertarians, they're just playing the political, organized rape by deception, play stupid about pedophilia, you know, and pretend you're doing something when they throw one of their own under the bus like Epstein. It's time to a game. What can they say? Nothing. Because everything they say is dumber than shit.